All right, we're recording. Now you can catch a fish. I have to see. The carp are having a blast this morning. Oh, we got one. Hey, don't roll it up into that island, buddy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yep, there's bait. Nice. Pretty whack it on. A spin glow. Really? Look at that. Nice. Got to watch. It's a good spot, Sam. Cast into those and get going on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. So I set the... this and get going on it. Oh, come on, get out of there, you. I should have let one of them catch it, but by the time I realized it was a fish, it was almost over. So, John, a little tiny spin blow. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's cool. I, I remember that. Wimped out. Home. Wimped out. He didn't want to spread the mayonnaise on the front. Oh, we got There's it. one. There's oh, one. Engine. Get it. Get it. You got it. Um. We're halfway there. They seem to like it a little faster. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it's the one that tinked mine. Tink, tink, Maybe. Tink. Oh, it might have been. That's okay. Give her a hand and make sure that one gets in the boat. We're halfway there. For... All right. Good job, dude. Good job, Jane. Is that your first white bass? Yeah, check that off the list. I think I wrapped that up in there. Okay, yeah, just... No time when you whip it out, you know, it's kind of just real, let it go, let it go. There and it is. The boat Hold it up there. for the camera. Over there. Can you smile? Well, you, <laughs> smiling well, get, is optional. Get a picture, Jane. Oh, that's right. It's so, got a mammoth. You should stand over here. Okay. Take a picture of the sun, eh? Sam, take a picture of me. Oh, Uncle John's going get it. Yeah. She's not afraid of it. No, Jane's. Uh, yep, she's good no, at it. I'm okay stuff. touching you. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. We are glad to have more than one of those. <laughs> so maybe we should just call it and run over to where we're going to go fish. For catfish. Okay. I'm just. Are we going over here? No, I was going to go across the lake. The mulberry. No, Mulberry's way up oh, there. Oh yeah, it's a long way away. I know that. Headed over toward the that gravel pit. You can do whatever. <coughs> My phone here. We've been at it a half an hour almost, and we've got two.
Did Sam tell you he got the tail end of a pod racing? Yeah. <clears throat> A Padres game for baseball. Oh, okay. Sam was in San Diego this past week. With a bunch of his friends from high school. Him and a bunch of high school buddies. Yeah. So you're moving, I hear. Yeah, to Virginia. That's where Sam's from. So we'll okay. be by family. And I have a couple of friends who are from Klamath, but have actually moved out there. Yeah. Which is kind of weird, because that's just a, yeah. It's like in the same region we'll be, so Northern Virginia. Okay. Yeah. So we're excited. A week from when, the, this one, wait, what, today's Saturday? A week from next Saturday. Wednesday, Today, so the yeah. 28th. Is okay. I don't know. And is that a job? It is. Oh yeah, I got a job as a translator. Oh, a cool. For what? Uh, federal contractor. Federal contractor. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I heard the contractor part, but that makes sense. Yeah. I'm uh, originally from the Northern Virginia DC area. Yeah. John. So I know a lot of people who are government employees, government contractors. Yeah. Okay. Should I reel in? And we'll get going. No, we're not quite ready yet. I was oh, okay. going to give it a few more minutes. Actually, I was going to look at my watch and see what time it is. 6.57. Yeah, that's probably... What about you, John? Were you thinking about keeping any today? I'm good if they want to keep some. Let's see how many we keep catch. a couple? Yeah. Okay. So we have to be starting back at noon. Okay. I just wanted to see if out here usually we find a white bass about every 10 minutes. Yeah. There's one. It hit the, the crankbait rod there. It stuck. Yeah. Oh, it didn't stick. God, got it. How does it not <laughs> stick on that treble hook? Yeah, and we're, we're going 2.2 miles an hour. I, yeah. Lucky white bass, I guess. <laughs> that was his lucky day. Probably stole a worm. <laughs> I had another one of those little flicker shot. I was gonna have you hang on there, but we can we, put that on there since we've caught them on both things. But uh, I wasn't. <laughs> hey, I've been doing this all morning. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think I'm learning about these sunglasses is they're better for driving than they are for actually blocking the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I bought these that kind of wrap around. Yeah. Yeah. I actually have windshields that go inside of them. Oh, nice. They're safety glasses, but they have prescription sunglass lenses. Oh, nice. Um, what was I starting to say, though? Oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> Um, Sam's family, when we got married about a year ago, they came up to Oregon, uh -huh. and a bunch, of, a couple of his aunts and uncles went to Crater Lake. Uh -huh. And this was in April. Oh and man! They were shocked. They're like, "There's so much snow up there." I was like, "Yeah, it's not really." <laughs> yeah, that was a drought year. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, and it was even a drought. Yeah, I can't imagine it looks like this year. So. I took my wife up there not too long after we got married, mm -hmm. and it was, I don't remember, it might have been about the same time, about April, mm -hmm. and I have a picture of her standing next to the snow, and it's like six feet over yeah. her head, yeah. where they've plowed it. It's crazy. Um, we t when I took Sam up there, when we were dating, we went up twice in one trip for like, but it was super smoky, and so he couldn't actually see oh, the lake. Yeah. That's how bad it was. Oh, it was man. Both times. I got a great picture of me in a gray sky. Yeah, like an yeah. abyss of gray. Gray water to gray smoke to gray sky. It's all those dope smokers. Yeah. Get oh, down in that dang, crater. Dang, Oregon. That's what you get. Wizard Island. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Wizard Island. <laughs> I 
Oh, there it is. There you go, Sam. Yep. There's the whitey bass for you. Keep him on there, yeah. You go back there, bro. We have one for you. <laughs> so I had just kicked the motor off to slow it down. I know it. Down. And the second it slowed down, I felt the tink. Like it might be a good one. This is a really light gear too. Yeah. Like you ready? Oh, oh. All right. Get him over the boat. There you go. Otherwise, oh, there's one on that one. Oh. Yeah. That is so bizarre. How bizarre? It's the same How one. Bizarre. I'm gonna have to check those out. Here you go, Sam. You want to put them on the crimper for you? Sure. I don't know the laws. I thought maybe you had to crimp it. No. <laughs> Just so you can take a picture. So go stand up there. We'll take a picture. Yeah, we'll do. Bass in the white. Two guys from Florida get bombed. Get choked. To tie the game. Oh. And they won it. Or Virginia choked bad. Oh. And it's you tough ready? to come back from that yep. side crack. Yeah, you might. Well, let me sh close this. Dude. Be a red eye. Uh, I do. I get motion sick. I'm not feeling that bad right now, but I think you'll be fine if you just look at the shore. Yeah. No, I have Dramamine. Look at that cow. He's so cute. He him? is cute. He's moving. He's walking. His He's family black. named him oh. T-Bone. <laughs> He's gonna be yummy <coughs> with that or kind of name. Rib of the eye. <laughs> oh, there's two. Yeah. You want to be this close to the reach, Jim? Yeah, I want to be with the bow just like 10 or 20 feet off of it. Nice. I mean, the, the so. You're about in the right spot, then. Yeah, we're getting really close. I'm hoping this angle will pass. Jim's a catfish whisperer. He catches a lot. I'll trust him, though. Maybe we've had. Hey Jim, how many catfish do you think you catch a year here? Uh, between three and five hundred. <laughs> that's, so awesome. that's good, Jonathan. 
you want to toss that okay. back there to the original I hope this one is okay. Well to the reeds, you want to be just off the edge of it. As far as you can toss it that direction. Just, yeah, it is a bite. I'm sorry. All right. Who's up first? Sam or Jane? Oh, it's in the reeds. Yeah, it's still on there, though. There it goes. Yep. That might be a bullhead, which is a smaller tip. You just did this pocket right here. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I'm afraid the first one we found was not what we were looking for. It's a bullhead, but it's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Right. That's probably good. Huh? Wow! Oh, here, grab the line. Bit on the back one. Oh, Sam! <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I can grab it. Careful grabbing, it's got spines. What has spines? Fish? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. those two, those fins sticking out of the middle. You want a picture of this, Jim? Pardon? <coughs> you want to get a picture of this or just let it go? It's still worth remembering. You want to get a picture holding it, Sam? Sure. Oops. Look at that clip. Here, let me well, get out of the way. <coughs> Okay, bird expert. Okay, so that go first. So over there looks like a grief. Oh, just don't. No, I saw it. Yeah. There it is. One came back up. There you go. Oh, nice. It doesn't look like a western. So which western. ones are the, are the spines? Do you see that? No. Right here. Oh. On these two. Can you see the spine on that? On this guy's got spines on these. On the, his fins. They're little. Oh, on the fins. Yeah. The main bone on that. Yeah. I don't see. I'll be honest. Are they just like super, super tiny? Pretty? That one it is. Catfish are big. Yeah. He's he's also a pilot. I think it's tuna.com is his boat. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. There's a hit. No, it's another mud cat. This one right here. Um, he's not, well, he might be on there. If he is, he's swimming toward the boat. Yeah. There he goes. What do you think, John? Another mud cat? I don't know. You want to roll it in and Sam or Jane? Uh, sure, I can. I think it, yeah, I think it's probably mud. That's the one that I could caught. be a small channel cat. Could be. So, 
So like just, when it, you yeah. hear that bell oh, going, uh -huh. yeah, don't reel, let it go. Okay. Yeah, it's, unless the drag's really loose, it's not a mud cap. How's that? Is the drag good enough? Well, I, I just saw it spinning. Um, keep just keep coming, way. yeah. But when it makes that noise stop? Yeah. Okay. And so it'll help you out if you hold this with the feet. Yeah, right okay. there. Then it's more balanced. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't think it's a mud cat. No, not a mud. Oh, sorry. Kennel cats be. When they go under the boat, it's usually not a mud cat. So if it does go under the boat, just stick the rod tip down. I mean, it's not there now. It went under it a minute ago, but there, that's as far as you can reel. John, you ready? Stay on it? Yeah, that's just oh, in wow. case it goes over the side. That's an eater. Yep, that is. Good job, Jane. <laughs> that was awesome. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it'll get, hopefully it'll get more awesome. So I have that thing back there still to, to hook the net to, if you want to do that. Do you want me to put the pole around? Or? I just open the bale and let some line out. So, generally anything under two feet long, we consider an eater. Um, the, the, when they get bigger than that, they've been in the lake eight or ten years. <laughs> And, um, you probably don't want to use it. Yeah, I mean, partly for that and partly for <laughs> They get big heads and you don't get as much out of them. And the bigger ones are, are actively spawning. And so there's lots of reasons to, to stick with that. sharper on smaller ones. They get kind of dulled as they get older. Get a picture, Sam? First channel cat of the day. Good job. Big guy. Oh, here's one. Wow. This is a bigger one here. Sam. Sam. Got it. So hold, hold that right there. Now don't keep the line tight. Now lift up with the rod to try to pull it in. And then when it comes in, then reel and let the rod down, like that. And then stop reeling and lift up. Always keep the line tight. Yeah. You, can. you get the picture? Yeah, we did. All right. Yeah. So let's. Uh... Lift up, reel this down. This is a good fish, Lift man. up, reel down. This is the biggest fish you've ever caught in your life. That's <laughs> true. Well, so was the white bass. Yeah. Yeah. Say, We're moving up. Day of records. Didn't yeah, take, that's right. It didn't take much to do this. What I care, the rainbow trunk? What was that? Uh, yeah, I was just moving up. So if it goes under the boat, put the rod down low. Is it about the same size? Yeah, about the same size. Wow, it acted bigger when I shot. Sure acted big for a minute. It's fine. When he gets it unhooked, we'll move it. But well, that's no good. <laughs> Sorry, this this rod. Oh, is it? This guy's a juvenile. Yeah. Wow, look, it just came right out. Okay, here's another mud cat. No, it's another small channel. No, it's a mud cat. It's got to be dragging in the weeds. So are you. So if you guys have keep an eye on those rods on the other side of the boat. Yeah. Should I reel it back up in, John? Got bit almost as fast as it hit the water last time. This is just a baby, Jeff. Yeah. It's still, if they, if they want to eat some. That's poop. 
Yeah. yeah. Nice. Get poop back. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and keep it because they said they wanted some. Okay. Okay, I gotta get a Oh, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Biggest fish I'm Scott. I was hoping to be 27, 8 inch or. Yeah, we'll, we'll find we'll him eventually. 16. Did you measure it? No. I eyeballed it. Don't count the poop hanging out of it. Um, 20, 19 and a half, 19 and a half. Yeah. Almost. We're both moving. Boy, we're back in here quite a ways. I guess we're going to need to move anyway, John. Okay. Should we reel them in and re... Yeah. Go ahead and reel that one in and... Reel this guy? Yeah. Um, and this one over here. Now, it's possible that it'll have a fish on it. If it does... Hold on. Lift, hold that up. Just hold it up straight. Yeah. Okay, so if it was if there, now reel like crazy. There you go. It was just pulling loose from the weeds. So that one might have a fish on it. Yeah, it's kind of heavy. Nothing position on this guy. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull us forward. Well, I guess i got to pull that back and anchor first. Yeah, I think you're right. There is a fish. Oh, you oh, lost I him lost right it. there. Oh, my God. Hey, did this have two of them? Yeah, you can reel that one in too. Oh. Got a fish on. Hold it still. Yeah, it does. Go ahead, reel it in. Yep. Certainly do. So hold it up high. You want the rod to fight the fish more than the line. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Is that okay? Yes, please. <laughs> and I was like, oh. There it goes. And then the, yeah, there you go. We got all the rods in now, except the uh, one that's snagged. Yeah. Yep. Right. Well, I didn't... You go ahead. I, I can kind of position this from this. Yeah, it's, that's what it's supposed to do. It'll just pull some line out okay. until until it gets over farther. So Jane, if you want to pick up that rod that's that's snagged up, okay. and as we get closer to it, just reel it slowly enough to keep the line tight. Okay, it should it should go slack here in a second. Yeah, now you, there you go. All right, that's more like it. Twenty-six. Yeah, I'd imagine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm watching the fish here. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. That's more typical. That's why those first ones we said those are just babies, but they're they're good eating when they're that young. So now, Sam, all those guys talking crap about you. Yeah, now you're done. Also, let's yeah, now you can tell them. Hey, okay, I'm gonna let the boat swing over there, John. You might want to unhook that tether so that you're not hampered by that. Oh, I just saw the spine. 
Whoa! Okay. Are we getting close? can't get it out now, we're not going to get it. I'm going to break it off. <laughs> Alright. It wasn't your fault. I'm pretty sure that there was a mud cat on it. Yeah, I think so. Nothing big enough to pull it off. Did you get a picture of it? I did. Here's a couple more. So measure it. We're not doing a very good job measure. here. We're supposed to be writing these fish down. You can grab its tail. You can grab its tail, yeah. Well, the most expensive. <laughs> I don't know. We went to a couple places. We went to. Okay, go ahead and throw that back one out. Okay, how far? Um, you want it towards this way? As far as you can throw it. A little bit more to your left. Okay. Oh, is it not tied, John? Um, I had it tied about the right length. It must have come undone. Yeah, I think it did come undone. All right. So now, more straight out behind the boat. Okay. Like a drunk this sailor. Hung. Okay. And then, is that far enough? Yeah, that's far enough. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Sunday dinner. <laughs> Where do you want, 
Yeah. Well, we Mary, that is. Awesome. Right out there, just right the off the edge of the reed. We're going to look down there. Right now. Well, that's the last cast, though. Nice. It was so close. And Sam said, wow, that was a good one. Real recognized real. Oops, I did it again. So another thing is, you kind of you kind of want to, if you can, the track of where you put them. Because when you catch a fish, you want to go back to the same place as the other ones. You can smell it, you can put it back there. Just a second. Yeah. Do you want to fill out your spreadsheet? Oh, yeah. yeah. Jane, Jane, Sam, Sam's got a photographic memory, almost. Oh, this is He's pretty sharp guy, old Sam here. So, did we measure that one? We haven't no. yet. So, so let's, let's go from the beginning here. I got a full head. So, coming out of the harbor, we got three, what, four white bass. Three. Three, three yeah. white bass. All, so. all three of you guys caught a white bass. Okay. So. I yeah, remember I had, yeah. Oh, yeah. The crankbait, I think. Yeah, the little jig up. Oh, no, you was the jig. So yeah, that was Sam. Good. All right, so. Do we need to put a crank on this guy? Yeah, we'll figure out. How long can fish stay on the water? What about the clams? Um, so over here, the one right here. There's two of them. Come here, come here. Two of them up here in the front. Bud Light, Bud Light. Bud Light. Put out some more promotions that are Super appealing weird. to the redneck funny. country people. That's because, awesome. Yeah. Because yeah. of the fallout from their gate You know, you can never go wrong with the Zach Bass and Brown Band, right? Yeah. True. Oh, you saw that one. Cold beer on a Friday night. Slap in the lake. That was crazy. <laughs> All right, so how long was that one? I don't know. We need to measure it. Okay. The other one was, we used, you were thinking 20, 16 and it was 19 and a half, so yeah. her first one was like 22, 21, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Looks good, Jane. Nothing more sexy than a woman with a fish in her hand. Oh, oh. real? So don't, don't. <laughs> Man, Do you man. go to the... About 21 and a half, yeah. Okay, so I must have been wrong about the other one. It must have been... It's all right. We'll call it 21 and a half. So. I'm putting it back, right? Yeah. yeah. How do you... I think oh, you, you just, just un, like a pair of pliers. There you go. But a lot of times they hold on to it. Yeah. You kind of have to twist it. That was a short move. So how many channel catfish have you caught? Channel two. Okay. The first one was 19 and a half, right? Uh -huh. The second one was five and a half. Okay. Oh. Come on, Sam. Let's do it. Is he in the reeds? No. Okay. I figured that. Funny how one rod, they hit one rod and they'll just keep hitting that same rod. Huh? Well, actually, that one we just put out, that's the one that broke off. This the one over here is one that the other one. Oh, I saw it. All right, so just a second. Fish would have fought a lot harder if it wasn't spawning. Yeah, it is. That's why I said it was a bigger fish. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, Jane, you caught your channel catfish, right? Yeah. We did not measure the first one, but that's why yeah. Don't 
let him touch me. Perfect black, perfect lady. Nice job, Sam. All right, so you want to get up there Tony. and take a picture of yeah. it? No, like no, Sam, smart. I'm sorry. I meant the camera person. Huh. Jay, they're taking their own picture now. They don't trust me. Well, no, that's not it. I'm <clears> just um, readily available. Oh, oh. Sam, keep him out in front of you. <laughs> Yeah, take it. Should I get him? Yeah. I'm dropping him. Gone? Yes, sir. A little mud cat. I didn't mean that. I said gone. Oh. You already let it go? <laughs> your, your oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. So, that might be as close to the end as we get today, but. Oh, look how he's hooked, Jim. Oh, okay. man. Look at what? Oh, that's weird. So he's hooked right to the top of his lip. Oh. Not even. He was here on purpose. Um, that bobber rod might have a mud cat on it. Yeah, the bobber just disappeared. Sorry, I should you guys know what you're doing now. It's just a second day. Yeah, yeah well, it's we, exciting. We love Go to watch it. you pounce like a panther. Too cool! This one might have Oh yeah, there it was. Oh, you got one there, John? Yeah, well, I think so. I think he's off. Yeah, that was... I wish I would have brought my binoculars. Yeah. I like bird watching. Ever, ever since we took the binoculars out of my car, there's been like eight opportunities. Nothing but bird watching yeah. opportunities. Should have known. See, that's what happens when you get rid of them. You always need them immediately after. Do I need to move my chair? Nope, nope. I, I think there is a pair of binoculars in this drawer. That's what I need. I downloaded this cool app while I was in Klamath this last week that it records the sound of the bird and uh -huh. then it like identifies it. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. I used it a couple of times. Yeah. Oh, I know. In the bag. In there. So it's almost like every place you cast, you get one fish. Yeah which means that they're not moving very much. Um, okay, so that bobber disappeared again. Oh, yeah. So grab that bobber rod and start reeling like crazy. Wait, 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 you let go of it. It swam about 20 feet under the water and then he must have felt it and spit it out. Oh, there, there you go. Oh, what? Oh. It was the reeds, either that or I just missed the fish. That's what John did earlier. <laughs> that, this one is cursed here. Okay, so that bobber is swimming along again. Um, it's not under the water, but it's swimming along sideways. So go ahead and reel it and see if he's on there. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I, I didn't actually see it, but I think so. It's a mud cat, I'm almost sure, but... Yeah, maybe. Maybe 
maybe it's just now he's looking up this. Oh, you right. don't want to see I've got better fish. <laughs> now, so remember, lift it up and then reel it down. Not too heavy to fish. Just kind of keep it tight all the way. It it'll gradually come in. Alright, so. Mud cap, more sand. My goal is to catch zero fish today. But you caught one. Huh? <laughs> Can I pull it off? Uh, where oh, really? Um, so. So usually I don't do that because there's, when there's this many fish falling out tonight. Oh, good. Do you want to do this then? Yeah. Just because I don't want to get the hook away. It's not the way, it's just keeping the hooks out. Um, so we've got to go jump at the Lake of Mandalorian. Oh, oh yeah. I haven't seen you see the Lake of Good. You know, you think though if you had a black mermaid that a shark would eat it, thinking it's a thinking it's a chocolate bar. Mm. One thing that made it better for me was that it's set in like the Caribbean. Yeah. So I was like, oh okay. Yeah. No, you know I'm well, okay that with sense. that. I don't really care. You know, <laughs> but if you were to make Fat Albert white, there'd be heck of a Yeah. <clears throat> hey, hey, hey. I like Fat Albert. I mean, All right, funny. let's see how big this one was. I like examinar. So my... Stepmom made enchiladas last night, Linda. Mm -hmm. Nice. And she gave us some, and she used like sour cheese, oh. cold cheese. Like bad cheese. And, yeah, Brady took one bite. Yeah. Twenty-seven. Right. Yeah. So Twenty-seven inches. Good job, Take a picture of that. I got a picture. I bet that's eight pounds, nine yeah, pounds. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Yeah. Brody, flip, flip that sideways so you can see the whole tail. Yeah. You know, and if you, yeah, if you pull your elbow in like that, yeah. <laughs> I know. I was like, why would I? Do 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 double handed. That way, it looks really heavy. <laughs> Let's get that recorded. We're off like a herd of turtles, or a herd of hurdles. Hey, John. Yes, sir. No, so okay. sometimes so they go. grab on. Grab that little knob. Make sure you hold that knob and just dip it in water. Oh, okay. Yeah, gold. Special egg. It might, it might take it with it. Man, you're holding on. That's great. I. Nice, nice baby. Ice. Nice. Immigration. Beautiful. Oh. This is Jim. Um, what have we got here? We're doing great. Um, I got lake water on my face. So, Good for you. six Good channel for you. cats, I think, three white bass, four bullheads. Thanks. Um, so the water's a little bumpier than oh, we there it went. Snacks. Okay. So, uh, Sam and Jane have each found at least an eight pound catfish. So, hopefully you guys are having fun. Oh, yeah. Great time. yeah. Just think, you'd barely be getting out of bed about now. That's true. Oh, that is... I've been sleeping in so late. Um, well, I, I picked like John up at 5.30, and we met them at the harbor at 6. 
and um, we got one white bass coming out of a harbor and then we went for 15 minutes and then we got three or four Whoops. side of the lake and it's kind of windy over here. Let's get settled down a little bit. But you are getting fish fish fast you enough to in there. keep everybody happy. I got you. I can't believe how much I'm going to miss you guys. Oh no. It's going to be so sad. We'll have to come back often and visit a lot. That's like the one thing that I'm feeling the most like sad about. People are like, are you sad that you're going to be leaving Utah? I'm like, I'm sad that... You're leaving friends or family No, I've only lived in Utah for four years. Right? Yeah. Or like a lot of people with my family, they're like, are you sad you'll be far away from your parents? And I'm like, I've been living away from them for like seven years. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's nice <laughs> big. You've got a really fat head. Yeah. All right. So, I was trying, to, uh, we're good. It's in the net now. Um, I was trying to decide when to call you. I'm to start letting you know how things are going on. So I'm, are going, so I'm glad you called. Yeah. Um, Respect the pouch. Yeah. Respect All right. So I'll let you know again. We're gonna. We're probably gonna move here before it gets longer. Get over back on the other side of the lake. And maybe do some trolling. They don't seem to be moving a lot. They're like a little kid's tree. Oh, we Capri. bought total little Capri kids. Sun. Wait till he pulls out the Austin Fruit crackers. Snacks. Oh, I already did. Look at that one. That's a good size. Oh, we're going to have to get this one. Oh, you're good. I didn't get it. You didn't get it? You didn't get it. You try harder. 29. Almost 29 and a half. So if that fish were healthy, it would be a 10 pound fish. That, Nine or nine. Is and that a female, Jim? I think it's a spawned out female, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I can't tell. Like, like we talked about. Like the weed out there. Anyway, thanks for the fun. Barbara's got one. Oh, go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Stop again. You see the bobber out there? Yeah. Yeah, so when it goes under the water, that's when you want to start. But the bad thing with the bobber, they're fun, but the fish feel it and sometimes they'll spit out the bait before, uh. mm, before you get a chance. can't get any farther than that. It should be able to. I can see it just sitting there, so if there's a fish on it, it'll go down. There was, because it was, you know. The rod was pulling. Yep. Yeah. But it stopped, and that's why. Yep. But if you want to, you can reel it and see if it. Oh, that's not good. Uh, this is a disaster here. The hook has got caught on the skin. And um, you won't hook the fish when you get a bite. Hmm. They'll say, oh, that tastes good, but they won't ever, ever get the hook. Oh, that's ready. Yeah.
So apparently they're teaching our lessons in primary for the fathers. Oh, I didn't hear that. I didn't either until yesterday. You primary? No, no, elders corner. Jim's like first or second counselor. Second counselor. Nice. Jim's been a bishop. Yeah. Long time ago, they were desperate in Albuquerque. <laughs> no, no. Oh, you still. Oh. The net was <laughs> moving around yeah. on the bottom. There was still so, fishing it. On a busy day, this has been a good solid day, but it hasn't been a busy day. Sure. Um, on a busy day, we'll get all done and we'll say, oh, wait a minute, there's still a fish in the net. <laughs> or there'll be one flopping on the floor and one on the net, and somebody's got one on over here. And... <laughs> There he is. Okay, here. You go, Sam. I think I, I did the last I... one. I thought I did the last one. Did you? Okay. I think so. This is another good one. I don't think Sam. Hold it up high. And lift it. You're trying to get it out of the reeds first. The good news is that's got a heavy line on it. Yeah. If you look for a silver lining, you'll find one. It's true. So it's all in the attitude. It's acting like another good fish. Set the hook we don't, we don't want Sam to catch a bigger fish than you. I know. I have I'm to just, keep. I have to keep. So he's um, probably getting close. Jim. They'll have to live with him, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> oh. I saw a boat. Hold Sam. that rod up. Yep. I've got this uh, line. Yeah, I saw it. They like that spot. Oh, yeah. They do like that it's a little babarooski. Well, I think it's more that I'm putting it right in here next to those leaves. Yeah. <laughs> They're just telling their buddies there's magic morsels of fun out there. <laughs> Trust right. us. So, yeah, that should be one. Oh, go ahead. Great. So these two over here have like just been wasted. Yeah. yeah so I think I'm going to cast one of them. on like the forehead of it or like on the chin? Either way. Yeah. If, you, if you grip it, that's fine. Put it on the chinny chin chin because then I'll huff and I'll puff. Wanted to blow the house down. This one doesn't look like it spawned out yet, Jim. Okay. What are your thoughts? I mean, look at just, that belly. Just a second here. I want it's a little fatty. Butter bump. That wasn't a good cast. Yeah, it's it's not done. That's a good observation. Five. Pardon? Another 25er. Well, it looked bigger than that in the water, but. Try it again, Sam. All right. It's okay. We I cheated a couple inches. Wrong. We got a 32. <laughs> wow. No, it's a 25. Okay. 24 even. 25. Wow. It's a little wriggly. You getting another pick? Yeah, always. Bring it in like this, Sam. You tuck your elbow in under it. <laughs> oh, Turn it. There you go. So much Probably. bigger like this? Yeah. Good job. So when they come in, their wings whistle. That one looked like it had a little bit of a nibble. So what, what is that you're doing with the, uh, are you just feeding it more line? Yeah. So that it gets unstuck from it? So that it's not pulling on it, and then if the fish is on it and it moves, 
those pheasant feeders right away. Ah, oh, there you go. They get the hook in their mouth better before they before they realize that's a thing. Oh man, that might have been a white bass. You know, he just had some blue liners. This is a mud cow. Since no one's in pro Oh, look at this. Now wait a minute. Here. Oh, here. is that a double? Oh, you saw it. I did, yeah. That's crazy. Sam wants to get the double. Double? There's two fish on there. Is there two white, white bass on there? No, two mud cats. Really? Yeah. Nice, look at them. <laughs> grab the line, will you, Sam? No, stop reading. And then grab the line, and then you won't put so much pressure yeah, so on the, that pole. The line on the reels is, is 14 pounds, but the line that you're holding is 40 pounds. Can you pick it up? So if you, so you, want, you want to be on this side yeah. of because of the sun. Sam, you're gonna have to readjust. Turn into the sun, that a boy. That a kid, two at a time. <laughs> Samuel the fish slayer. He's gonna leave here thinking, man, I I'm know. a whale of a fisherman. Seriously, guess what? We're not. He's gonna show. We're just these, reeling in. We're not really show, placing. He's or... gonna show all these pictures of the Virginians. No, but that's not. <laughs> that's not true. Yeah, that's not really. Do the top oh. one first. Yeah. So you want to put the hook in that blue. Hold the, fish. <clears throat> hold the fish so that, um, or hold the line so that it's going up to the foot. And then the fish is waiting to hold it off. You guys are going to do a lot more fishing. I hope so. He got the fishing pole for Chris's. Uh, his sister. They're like, what should we get Sam? And I, I think it's just like a little cheap one, so <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, that's a first. That's a first, really. Um, so I have caught a white bass on one hook and a channel cat on the be other. Be careful with that backlash, Sam. If you cast that out, be careful. The backlash? Oh, we well, no, it does. Because it's so long, right? Oh, yeah. yeah? You have to be really careful about so where. You don't catch the rod next to you. Right, I wasn't going to cast it, I was oh, just pulling it up. That's good right there, yeah. Okay. I'll cast it. And that's the only reason that you're doing that is because when there's so many people in the boat. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm too scared that I'm going to hit someone, so that's why I'm darn lane, right? I mean, we hit yeah. these poles all the time about throwing them in the water. That's so why I'm letting one of you guys do it. I don't. We'll, we'll do the trolling thing in a few minutes. And that. There's no. And let go too soon. Oh, 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 I looked over there and there was no red and white bobber. I know. I... Huh. I'm excited for Ann to come out here though. Yeah. And Ruth. Ann needs it though, right? Yeah. Ann needs a new change of scenery and oh, oh, absolutely. an attend award where. There's other people besides the same six you grew up with your whole yeah, life. Yeah. I mean, I grew up in a ward like that. It wasn't a small ward, but the youth never really changed. It was hard. I, I feel bad for bishops because, you know, when youths get to be about 14, 15, that's when they lose them. Yeah. yeah. You know, because they're doing other things and. We got along nice, but on campouts, we hated each other. Oh, yeah. On campouts, it was <laughs> fisticuffs, we were fighting, I, we were I throwing know. water bottles at each other. I wow. never hung out with kids in my ward, never. <laughs> my mom's like, why don't you hang out with those guys? I said, Mom, have you seen them? <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, jerk it, jerk it, jerk it. You got him. <laughs> Usually, you don't even... Dang, you get this guy. Okay. I've been, I've been on That's this one. See, I mean, this... Yeah, I cast it actually yeah, right Sam. into the reeds. Sam's caught every fish yet. Oh, keep your rod up. So just, just hold it. Yeah, there you go. You don't have to keep pulling hard, just but keep a bend in the rod. Yeah, I actually, instead of putting it on the edge, I kind of put it out in the middle, so that's going to make it a little harder to get it out of there, but yeah. I think she'll be fine. Yeah, Sam's got like four more fish than James. Yeah, I got... I gotta take it easy. I gotta, I gotta. Okay, we're uh -oh. getting, getting close.
close. I am up and at it, but I'm not home. I'm I'm out on Utah Lake. I'll be home around noon. Okay. I don't like that Another, she was pulling. Another, yeah, nice. That's not uncommon. Nice. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Yep, you bet. Bye. You know, we may have caught all the ones back in that special spot. Jane, Woo Sam hooked that one for you. Yeah. Nice job, Sam. Thank you. Okay, here you go. Get the rod with only the one hook. No, you want two, huh, on that one. You want to put the headpiece on this or this bait looks pretty good, actually. Um, that one would be fine. We can put it on that one. But first, I guess I need to finish with what we're doing. I need to get her fish measured and get her with it so it's not enough. So somebody, somebody asked earlier how long they could be out of yeah, the water. Yeah, that was me. Um, they, these kind of things last six or eight hours. If there is something damp, it can last a lot longer than that. It's just really durable that way. But trout, for example, 10 minutes, a lot of times is too much for them. How long was that one, Jim? Did you measure it? I haven't got there yet. I'm just getting it in the grip room. I'm going to guess 22. Okay. It's talking to you. It's got blue eyes. All right, there you go. Oh, I want to measure. Yeah, you go for it. Go for it. Got one on the on the. It's clear over here. Yeah, he took it for a little while. Not not long. Over there. I think it, uh, uh, I think same. he was hitting as you bumped it. Oh. 22. Oh, sure. right. well, I wrote it down for you, Jim. Thank you. CC 22. Charles Cat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, turn it. Flip it. Other go. way. Other way. That's elbow in. Uncle John just said. It didn't matter which way. What? Bring your elbow in. Uncle John, you're good for at posing for pictures. Yeah. They should use you in our family pictures. You bet. It comes from my experience with Playboy. Mm -hmm. Got one, Jim, on the on the right, that rod right there. Give oh, it jerk, give it jerk. Yeah, you got it. Oh my gosh! Oh, sorry, that's okay. That's what you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When you when you decide it's time, you don't fool around. That's Isn't why that you see me jump from one end. Absolutely, to the boat. man, jump on it. You know. 
You know, it's interesting though, every time you decide I'm gonna go trolling, get a butt, get a fish. Yeah, that's that's an interesting guy. Exactly that. It's just just keep saying we're gonna go trolling and not. Okay. We're gonna go trolling. You hearing that? We're gonna go trolling. That'd be cooler than heck to have, <laughs> you know, five rods and five fish on at the same time. That would be cool. Well, it's a mud cat. It must have been tangled in the leaves. So oh, mud cat, bull cat, same thing. Yeah, bull cat and mud cat. The technical name is bull cat. This happens to be a black bull cat, even though they're quite brown. Well, look at this, John. A fat little guy. Yeah. And took a bite out of it. Oh, really? I mean, it's not. It's not. They didn't tear a chunk out. Catfish don't have teeth, it. do they? Yeah, catfish have sharp teeth. They do. Yeah. They're, but it's like you feel that with your finger. Oh, that, I see. Those are their teeth. Oh, I see. I see. I see. You want to feel it? You yeah. don't have to. Yeah. That red lip oh, on either side. I feel like sandpaper. Oh. You know, sandpaper. Yeah, a little worse than sand. Yeah, it's definitely rougher. Oh, you want a picture? We can hold it up like that if you look at the video camera. Then. Oh, yeah. That's good. Do you want to write that one down, John? You betcha. Oh, that one's 12 inches. 16 inch bullhead. So, actually, <laughs> that's probably the food. Normally, when we fish in a spot like this, as soon as we start catching mostly bullheads, that means the channels have been. Oh, that's a fish. It's not a head. Who wants this one? Uh, I'll take it again. <laughs> All right. You're trying to catch up here. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to on this. You got it, Jane? What are you what's the, what are you using for uh bullheads? B H B H yeah. It's up at the top. Is that another bullhead? Or is that a no it's not a bullhead. Oh. It's a twin to the other one. Maybe it's going back into the same spot. This one has a red on its back. What's Pococock? Po Pococock is my grandpa's last name. It's my oh, mom's nice. maiden name. These were our uh, last king crews. Family reunion special. So you can see everyone. Pococock. Yeah. Look, they're really nice sweatshirts. They, they are nice. Yeah. Bear. We saw a bear in Canada. Oh, nice. On the side of the road. It was super cool. My mom was the first one to see it. She screamed her head off. <laughs> the bus driver like slowing on his face. Okay, John, do you want to reel that one in? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and turn this rod in and actually switch it over. But let's get it on the gripper and measure it so we can get a picture. Why don't I just put that one in? Mr. Susu? Yeah. It's just starting to turn dark. Whoops. Twenty-three and a half. Twenty-three and a half? Yeah. Hey, little tails of white. Spurry, 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 spurry. Am I holding it right? Like this. <laughs> Show me how to do it. Tuck your elbow in. Uh -huh. No, I guess because it looks a lot bigger, right? Oh. You got it. Good picks. I got it. Yep. What would eat it, or why would it that? Why would that happen? Well, they could be up during the spawn. Uh oh. Yeah, they, they burrow to make places for the eggs to be laid. Oh, this one is tied to the board. That's smart. Sure. So are these all of the fish that you can catch in Utah Lake? Mm -hmm. yeah. Walleye, green sunfish, bluegill, black crappie, carp, white bass, bullhead catfish. Oh, there's a few. Oh, John, do you want to put that one over there? A few what? Yellow perch. Oh, okay. There's those are little, those are, what, yellow, yellow perch are little guys, right? Um, yeah, they're small. Are they smaller than bullhead or about the same size? 
Got him that time, Jimmer. Oh, okay. That's all right. We're going anyway, so. Yeah. So, give me a little bounder. Little one here, just like you said. Herbert. That's the You should get records for the smallest fish in the fish. There's actually a competition for that. Yeah? People mostly Japanese and European. I mean, it, I mean, we're talking. Oh, wow. We're catching like little itty bitty guys. Yeah, little That's tiny so itty bitty guys. <laughs> Alright, so that anchor is in. And this one needs a fresh bait. And where did, where did you. Oh, I have But then the hard part is how do you get rid of all the hymn books, right? In our oh, board, yeah. we have. Every single hymn book in the chapel. So got one. Got one. There's one. See, that's what they look like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You don't have to pull it hard now. Just right on 20 minutes. Put the uh, the chapel, the new chapel, our normal ones under construction. And this new chapel, every single hymn book has an additional hymn, 342, that's been printed on copy paper and oh. then just pasted in the back of the book. It's good, but not great. Period. We've got, I think, 10 or 11 channels and another one on right now. Most of them in the reeds. We're trolling right now, but it's a lot slower. Okay, so go out, go back to the back. Kind of tried to guide it out here. Yeah, I got you here. Push that phone down in the pot. Alright. Hold it out of the water. That's the little bit because they go crazy. You can keep them right on the surface. Go ahead and move it back up that way. You look like it's hard to reel in, Jane. Yes. Pretty good one. Right, way to go. Job, Jane. Nice job, Jane. There's no more room on the paper for Jane. She done. I was say, not my turn anymore then. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> no one cares about that. My you Jane. can go. Well, you can go in these boxes. Right below, can't you? Uh, place your bets. I'm guessing. Twenty-seven. Twenty-six. That's my guess. Jim needs to teach him the Jim philosophy of always put your line back in the water. Uh, Fast. If, right, Jim? If you have to pull out of the water. Number one rule of urban fishing, you can't catch fish with your pole out of the water. That makes sense. No matter how good a fisherman you are. Take a chunk of flesh out of that catfish in the middle. No, no, no. Oh. Got it out of the bait box. Mmm. Oh, that one here. There's a phone on your seat. Hey, I think we found it. 
How big's that fish, Jim? I'm not quite there yet. Okay. It's 27. Well, you said you wanted one fish in the net, one on the pole. You got it. <laughs> Oh, so 26? Yeah. yeah 26 and a half. Do you want to take the picture? You betcha. Phone ready? No, it's not. <laughs> like this? Mm hmm. But turn it so we can see that. There you go. Turn a little more. Perfect. Got it, yep. Apple's too exclusive. Yeah. For some reason. Have you seen the ads? But they're for the so new... easy to work with, right? And yeah. It's Android's like a getting better. <laughs> but Android's, um, whoever you ask for is just it's an idiot. Yeah. Like, tell me the, what's the score of the Dodgers game? The Dodgers play in the do National do, League West. Do you use Bixby? I don't know. What I, use. I don't. What I was this? We haven't waited yet. Oh, yeah. I jumped out of the way there. <laughs> Have you seen the ad for the new Apple Vision? No. It's like their VR set, basically, except for you can... You, you have this thing, and you can even, like, do your apps. Like, you can do your Facebook, and, like, it's interesting. You'll have to go home and watch it. It's, it's really weird. <coughs> And I know we think it's weird now, but I have a feeling that's probably what it's going to be like within the next 20 years. You know, they're making some really cool stuff, but they're also doing some really dumb stuff, right? Because if you have an Apple Watch, that your Apple Watch can't be the same number as your iPhone. Yeah, yeah they got a charger for another device. Right. Huh. Right. I did not know. 25 and a half. Okay. We're clear across the lake next to the quarry. You can stop. We're not pumping water. It's when the boat rocks back and forth, so I think it's time to get going. Okay. Little man? Yeah. Time for one more good spurt when we anchor over there. Thank you. 
about turning the bilge off for a minute. Well, I was going to... Get going a little bit? Yeah, because it'll cause it to go toward the back. Okay, he's signaled up here. Pardon? He's signaled with the... Okay. Oh. We can... Now, come on. Where do... Oh, there it is. Where are you taking Brent tonight, you know? Well, definitely back for a burger, but besides that, I don't know what else I'm going to do with him. Maybe we'll walk around Center Street. Do you like the Shake Shack? Where is that? Have you ever been there? We can pull that line out. It's in the airport. Yeah. You just pull it your hand. Oh, yeah. So let's just, let's just leave it. I mean, you can try it, but we're going to be going fairly fast here. You want us to hand the crank bait in? Um, oh yeah, it's got to come in, doesn't it? Darn it. But tell me when it's in and I'll get going. My great idea didn't pan out. Oh, never mind. It's below that. Never mind. Don't cut it off. We'll just... It's going better. That's much better, huh? That's Not crazy. <laughs> Yeah, you can put them in the cooler. I set them in, in there. They will smell a little bit like fish. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to go to this middle one. Have you ever been watching? Uh, I've tried once, yeah. Uh, I think I did. side there that's right by you. Yep. Just flip it over, yeah.